Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a sherry. Call me like a sherry. The boy done switched up on you. The second reveal will be bigger. Get my stuff actually done. Oh, you hit down into the light. Let me see. see can't they see can't it. see the blue. Can you can't see it. Hold on, let me see. Turn your head that way. You can't see it. Oh, uh, yeah, you get a little bit. That's all right. We ain't gonna get because I ain't gonna wait for me to change the lighting to get a, a different effect. <laughs> you cannot see it. That's, what, that's the effect that I was going for. Oh, well, no, no, no. Let me have it. No, I thought man was going down. What if the fan is, is blowing it? That's why I'm moving it. Cause it's, it's even closer to you, it's not going to show that blue that way. Anyway, let's go. Who <laughs> is you? I think I got this out of place. Right. No, I don't. Right. But you can't see your plate well, is what I'm saying. Ain't nothing much going to go on. Wait, 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 me, y'all. You guys know, if this is your very first time on this channel, run over there and subscribe for us. So after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. Thanks. Beside the word subscribe, so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of that's some things that we do. And we do it every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go on, check for the team. Hey! Come in like a share and don't take for the team. And come in like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't forget to come in like a share. Okay, you got checks out. We go ahead and pray. We're gonna get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Y'all hubby is here. So, you guys, you can't see it that well. I think I may go outside and get a clip outside so we can really, really show you what the color is like. But his hair is actually blue. I love it so, 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 so much. I truly, truly do. I think it is magnificent. I love it. I love it. I may go outside and take a clip of it in the sun so you guys can see what it really, really looks like. So, so don't worry about it. I'll stick it in here somewhere. It shine. But you got to be quiet for me to stick it in there. Oh, well, like I can stick it in on top of us right now. They just hear us talking, but see the. Like anyway, y'all. <laughs> you guys, open some sides. The beans in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. The beans in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. Let's see if be nice and fresh. <sighs> Woo. He is. A little bean has died, Mountain Dew, in him today. And also here, I got my lips hot sauce. And if you like your bottle. Look where the top of the box in blue. Hit that link in right there and you can get your little tots out. Eee. And merch. Well. <laughs> and merch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. So today we have the hot pot. We got the hot pot today. It's One of you guys' favorite. And it's hot. So tell them what we got, baby. Oh. Tell yeah. them what we eat and we're going to keep it simple today. Not too much, Jeffrey, but we're having a lovely dinner. Uh, we have. Uh, Squash and zucchini on this side. Can I, can I see? Sit down. I'll help you. All right, you got it. Let's go. We got squash and zucchini right there. We have regular uh, white mushrooms. And we have gnocchi mushrooms. No, this is for the hot pot. They have to have it. Then we have um, shrimp. Uh, what kind of steak was this? Uh, Noodle shrimp. strips marinated very nicely. And these are, they say it was uh, Chinese broccoli. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're going to try that. Throw that in the pot. Something new. Got to put something new in there. Uh -huh. I got, I already turned this on. Let me set this down. So, baby. I got okay. some news in there. All right. Oh, it's hot. It's a hot pot. Okay, come on, put stuff in there. Uh uh, don't mind about what I got going it's not on. A cold pot. Put the food in there, honey. I'll put these right here because I'm not sure how long this is going to take. I think we should put all of them in there. I'm, I got some more over there. Do I don't know. It just looks interesting. Put one in there like that, and I'm putting some in. I don't know. I don't know whether to take them off or not. I don't know. They was washed. They're not. They're whatever. But that's not enough of them. No, we don't have a five or six. We need more. Two six. I got those. Those are pretty. I don't care about being pretty. I want to eat it. Hmm. Charles. Charles and Chinese. What'd you say? Chinese or Japanese? 
Uh, they, Japanese broccoli or they Chinese? They said Chinese broccoli. Or oh, it's in the wrong section. It said Chinese broccoli. That's yeah. what they said. Okay, I that's know. enough. We're going to see. We're going to see how they turn out. We're going to see y'all. All right, we're going to let that go. And then we got some mushrooms. White mushrooms. And we got these mushrooms. The enoki. Oh, uh, we didn't show y'all what type of sauce that we were doing. But it's our favorite. It's our favorite, dog, with in the orange bag. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should show it for those that maybe this is their first hot pot with us. If it is, congratulations. Not say congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for being here. Yes, yes, Thank yes, you yes, so, yes, so, so, yes. so very much. And we gonna pop those in? Yes. All right, bro. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got squash and zucchini as well. Put some in the front. And then what else? Oh, that's all the that's babies it. right now. If they're lucky, I'm oh, sure I thought we had onions, that. too. We're supposed to have onions. I got some right here. We're supposed to have onions. Onions right here. And is there enough mushrooms and everything while I'm up? Uh, I think I'm going to hold mushrooms. You hold? Oh, okay. I'm going to hold mushrooms. Put these onions in here. Ooh. You no, know, like the whole mushroom, not cut. Okay. Yes. I want some whole mushrooms. And then we got the shrimp and the, uh, uh, is this here something, which one, is this here a season that's supposed to go up in there too? It's parsley. Okay, so that's whole real parsley. Yeah, that's just making the plate look pretty. Oh, uh, well, the plate, the plate <laughs> empty now. And I, I, I was going to get some cilantro. Yes, I was. But I didn't know. I don't know. I yeah, didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Baby, you got to... uh, Don't worry about it. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Right. Ooh, that's a green pepper. Let me put it on up in there. All right. So now we just got the shrimp and uh, steak. Steak. Mm -hmm. We gotta put that on. Let that go down. Let that let let this the, this, cook let that a little bit. You got on hot. I do. Good job. So how y'all doing today? Good job. Good job. How are y'all doing? How are you? How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. We need a, um, we need not, a topic. Huh? Not other than obviously just wanting to see hubby. <laughs> uh, uh, you guys, his hair is blue. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to go outside. No, I'm going outside. Oh <laughs> and I'm gonna take a um, short video of what it looks like in the sun. I may do pictures, I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, however, by this point, I've already put it on the screen, so you should already have seen it. <laughs> uh, so, right. other than that, it will not be any editing. So, if anything goes wrong in this video, we sorry, y'all. I told y'all I'm trying to get away from that editing thing. I'm just, I, I'm just not with it at all. So, with that being said, mm -hmm. uh, you guys, I didn't get an opportunity. I, t I spoke on it, but I didn't really get an opportunity to talk about it like I really wanted to. But I want to go back to the conversation of Jennifer Hudson being a EGOT. OMG. Like, I don't know if I've ever been prouder of a person that I don't know. Uh, because I followed Jennifer's career, um, I've always been kind of like, uh, uh, because she didn't go the route that other women went as far as with album after album after album, you know, and stuff like that. But after, you know, Jennifer's career has a little, she for me, has a little more prestige than the average album girl. For me. That's your girl, though. That's yeah. true. <laughs> you got to back back and say, yeah, that's for you, but that's your that's your chick. Right. I I follow her and I whatever, but uh in certain songs she sang is like really cool with me. But I don't I don't she's not like I We need songs. But go ahead. Okay, okay. No, saying. She's not like um I get they're gonna say, Well, you shouldn't never cut him out. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but she says, you know, she's 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 all right for me. She's right. all right. I mean I can I, I can dig it, I can take a leave. You go into you go into the concert. Cool. I, I'll catch you at the after party sometime. That, that type of thing. That's uh, no, we definitely. Well, you, well, you, well, you have to catch me at the after party as well because I will be at the concert. You know. Uh, but for me, I, I, I appreciate her. She did her thing. Yeah, for me, she's she's. Um, I'm not gonna say an upgrade because that may cause an uproar. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm saying her um, career path for me is a little more. You said I couldn't make. 
You said I couldn't be there. Well, but not necessarily not. that. I'm just saying no, the she, thing. She fucked her it, career it. is not album after album after album. I'm giving you new music with the Google. Her career is more. I'm gonna show up to these big, grand events, and I'm gonna I'm gonna come with this thunk. I ain't got to do it all here, bitch. I mean, oh, excuse me. You know, I ain't got to do it like you do. But you got to think about what she's doing, man. She's getting invited to these situations. But you have to think about what she's doing behind the scenes in order to get invited. She's out there. She's meeting. She's greedy. You know what I'm saying? She, you have to sit back there and throw not throw Networking. Yeah, she's, she's telling doing herself. Her, she's That's what I'm saying. She's doing a good job. And I respect the, I respect yeah. her hustle. Because, man, you, you don't get there without the hustle. You know what I'm saying? And I just, for me. I I mean she she doing her thing and I love Jennifer and I'm not putting anyone else down at all uh, because the beehive will come for you I already know what the barbs <laughs> the, I mean that's rapping but still the barbs I mean you know the what Cardi B name and what her people name is I don't forget I don't know the barbs are Nicki Minaj. No, what? Yeah, Nicki Minaj is gang behind her like the beehive is Beyonce. Nicki Minaj is the barbs, but I don't forget what Cardi's is right now. But anyway. Uh, I'm not putting anyone down on any level. Your favorite, your favorite entertainer, your favorite entertainer, because uh, Tony Braxton will always and forever be my favorite entertainer. I don't care who you talk about. It doesn't matter. To me. <laughs> I, I mean, you may want to go see Lady Gaga. I don't know. I would like to see Lady Gaga, but I'm never going to choose anyone over Tony Braxton. Her elegance is just so. I love Mrs. Tony Braxton. I love her voice. She's she, she, she's in love on all of her own. I mean, I, she's right? an icon. Now, yeah, and once you become iconic, when you actually hit that status, you can't you can't really mess with it. Well, when you become an egot, you also are an icon. That's my thing. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, um, clueless. No, no, but <laughs> you know, I love Jennifer Hudson. But you know what? I do. She, she, she's. You know what? I was questioning her when she did the Secret Life of Bees. That was her first movie, right? It was. Yeah, that it was, was, I, I was that would have been yeah yeah but they I so. but like, she had, I think she had already started Broadway then but yeah her first on well, screen I think, I think yeah when I saw her in it I was like she was okay she was all right, you know what I'm saying? even her more current movies like now I love the movie it's called Monsters I absolutely love it it streams on Hulu I think Monsters Monsters yes Jennifer Hudson is the mom the the guy that played um. Uh, Mud, in, in play Muddy Waters in Cadillac Records as the father, and they have a son. And their son ends up going to a store. He has a group of friends. And he go to jail. And right. he ends up going to jail. It's called yeah. Monsters. I, I adore it. I think they got an Oscar for that. I think they did. Did they, did they not get one for that? I, well, I mean, it the was, movie it itself. It, it was a good. It was but a good she good wouldn't movie. have got She was an actor. She didn't have anything to do with the writing or the producing, so she wouldn't have got any accolades behind it. Because the acting, I mean, she could have for her acting, <laughs> but it, I mean, to be told, that's my but girl, I'm, but it well, wasn't that good. Do you? No, wait, wait, wait. Do so if let's just say if if I'm asking the question, if, if Color Purple won, he won whatever Oscar they won, right? Uh, does just because the Color Purple got it, does everyone in there receive it? No, only no, the film. They have so, different so parts, be, like like. I think like the writing or the production work is where you get the Tony from. And yeah, Tony's on Broadway. Oh uh, well, I'm just saying. Well, 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 okay, well, well, you educate me on it. What I'm saying is, I don't know about that part, but I, I, I don't want to mix it up because I don't know. Because Tony's a stage. I'm not gonna sit here and put my y'all know I'm not putting myself in a trick bag by something I don't know. I don't know, but I know that it comes in different parts. You have a uh, uh, best actor, supporting actor, but. The color purple itself, it gets its accolades on its own. Hold up. Okay. I got you. Uh, I, I, I get everybody you. in the color purple, you may have been on uh, on the color purple. Right. But what you did wasn't all that amazing. I mean, Harpo may get a yeah, but, award but for it, but he didn't get on. Oprah Winfrey didn't. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, it depends oh, oh, on what okay. you do in it. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, but it know, doesn't take away from the movie itself as a whole. The show gets it. That just doesn't mean everybody else around. Right. They, I mean, you still get to say, okay, well, I was in Color Purple. It's a award-winning movie, yes. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that Harpo may didn't get the accolades from it that... Uh, what was uh, Oprah Winfrey's uh, thing... What was her name in, in Color Purple? Oh my God, y'all gonna kill me, but Sophia? I don't remember. Sophia. You see what I'm saying? Sophia's character <laughs> oh, yeah. in the way that yeah. the way that Oprah brought Sophia's character. Right. Even though it was amazing, she still didn't get the accolades off of Sophia like Whoopi Goldberg got off of. Um, yeah, I, I don't have. I had none of the research. What is what is? I can't even think of what Whoopi Goldberg's name was. Nettie was supposed to steal it, right? So 
Stop it. <laughs> Not too late. Not, it's early in the morning. To you. you had me thinking uh -huh. I'm wrong. I'm and like, that's what the girl on oh, when she was on uh, Terea show. Um, the Clark sisters. Uh, Dorinda. Yeah, that's what yeah. she said to. Um, uh, what is wrong with my? <laughs> <laughs> that's what Dorinda <laughs> said to Karen. Right. It's early in the morning. Team. It's early in the morning. Team. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Anyway, y'all. So yeah, I'm so extra like, proud of Jennifer Hudson. Yeah, I am. I say. I mean, yeah, I give you all these. You can get her all her flowers. To she me, is, she's I mean, a triumphant story. I mean, I absolutely adore Jennifer Hudson. I do. And to me, I'm just so overjoyed for her. I mean, I'm just overjoyed for her. Not only if there was a question about the other girls that came from American Idol or other. Entertainers, period. She's an eager hot. I mean, come through. I mean, you know. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing to me, y'all. It is. It's yeah, just I, simply I just, amazing. I, I'm just like at the effort, the time, the time that you actually put in. It's, it's, it's amazing. I'm just so proud of her. I am. I'm so proud of her. So y'all, and you know, our girl, Miss Was the Griner. The basketball player, WNBA uh, player. She's still over there in Russia, y'all. Uh, she's still locked up. That, to my understanding, no, 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 she's no, still no, going no. through the court. Sit now, if this is something recent that has happened, because they put out a, a thing where they were saying that she was appealing to President Biden to get her home. Why they still got that girl over there? I don't know. I mean, because they, she's on Russian time now. You know, she's on Russian. Whatever they want to do. And then they still got... It wasn't them. a booger. It looked like it was a piece of... No, I'm just... I'm just it stood out to me because it was green, but I think it was a piece of that zucchini. I'm gonna cut that. No, I'm not. <laughs> on, I was on. like, uh, 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 okay. Yeah, but she's still not. She's still but not you know here. What they, but when they sit back, they have to also go through their systems. Like wherever she got locked up in whatever county, they still got their COVID rules and laws still there going on. If they still going by those, you know what I'm saying, particular whatever, and then they already don't want to let nobody go to begin with. So she just went the wrong time to get messed up. For the most part. I mean, that's what I said. Yeah, I mean, you I'll don't go nowhere where your country is already has I mean, tension. And then, you know. I would go, period. period. But you definitely right. don't go and be an issue. But, definitely but, don't do that. I don't think, I think that that girl got set up. You think I'm saying. You're not going to Well, she never did. No, no, no. Hold on that. Because she never denied that it was hers. Right. Now, she may have been set up as far as she's American. Let's check her harder. But she put it in her bag herself. It was her thing. Okay. As so, I mean, I as a grown it, individual. Like, as a vape pen. You're not going to sit there and just go. It's a vape pen. I think that we should. But you up. know what? That also, had, like, uh, what he had just said just yesterday on, uh, you see this on my hand? Yeah, on what? Uh, um, the Breakfast Club. You know what I'm talking about? What Armand had got messed up with. Uh, Who? We were, we were listening to the radio the other day. The we were, Breakfast Club. Yeah, the, what's the name of the Breakfast Club said that Armand got caught in Florida, in uh, Texas. Or what was it, Texas or somewhere? Are uh, you talking about uh what you call his husband? The basketball player from New York. Uh uh Tiana's husband. Is his name Armand? Yeah. Okay, whoever that is. Or well, something to that effect, yeah. Whatever. The guy left from um Detroit. Wherever he left from, I knew it for weed was legal. He left there where it was legal at. It was doing a layover down there to go somewhere else where it's legal at, where he stuffed in his bag. To so go checked. somewhere where it was illegal. No, it's legal. It was legal where he left from, but it wasn't legal where, where, where he, he laid over it. Right, and it, but it was legal where he was going. He was in a layover. He had to get us up over one plane, move him to another plane. You know what I'm saying? So he, wherever it was he was leaving, he got on there, went past customs and everything. Before he can get off, he got off of one plane. Before he can get onto the other plane, they sit back there and down. Now he can serve like what, two, three years, ten, uh, I mean, ten thousand dollars for nothing. For absolutely, for, not for nothing, but I mean, it's a lot. But still, I, I'm not in agreement uh, with you on that one for sure, uh, because um, he knew the trap. He knew the route that that plane was going to take, regardless. What I'm saying is that when you book flights, uh, unless it's an y'all, this steak, by the way, this is New York strip steak. Uh, what I mean, I should wait till it's hot, huh? I'm gonna be overcooked it that way. Okay. Yeah. Just that go. Oh, yeah. Because you like to feel the whole I'm like, you, okay. Let that cook. It's going. It's going. It gets there. By the time you get a good, nice seal up on that, then 
throw some more up on there, or maybe throw some shrimp on the fire. You can have some steak, and you can get the rest of the steak. You know what I'm saying? But I was gonna put the shrimp in there. You want your shrimp up there? You know, it gonna take even more. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's why I, I wasn't worried about the shrimp because I was going to put them in the water. Oh, oh. but no, what you're not saying in the ingredients too, it's like, okay, if they left some, well, they did in the same situation. It really is. Oh, mama, what is <laughs> Mama, what, do you have an opinion, mother? Man, man, yeah. Mother, do you have an opinion? Or maybe that's daddy since it's more of a sports athlete. I don't know. But I know that oh, stuff is still moving over there. Y'all, my parents are here. You guys, I really think they are right now. Um, I think my parents are here. But, or somebody. You know. <laughs> uh, see, I didn't want us to get this going and then we both not have anything to taste. From, yeah. Go ahead. You want to put it up? Yeah, right. No, I just want to put at least a few more so you can have something. You know, they always they act like this. You don't eat nothing. Well, you really don't eat a whole lot. But, okay, that's good. You want to put shrimp in here? Because this down in here is ready already. The vessels are ready. And why don't you get this one? When it's just hot, you're going to drop it in. By the time you set the plate, it should be ready for that. Okay, so, um, my thing is, knowing from booking flights, there's no surprise about where you're going unless something for God off a reason that happened and your plane tow up or something another and they got to put you on another one. What I do know is those connecting flights. When they say you're going to leave Vegas and you're going to lay over in Detroit or wherever, and then you're going to fly somewhere else, he knew the route that that plane was going to take when he left. Right. And this, I'm saying that to say, it's not about planes that don't bother you when you're getting off. Well, where flights will bother you is when you're getting on. So if you had to get off in a state where you knew it wasn't legal, and you had to get back on the plane in that same said state where it's not legal. As a grown individual, that's his, that's his fault. I mean, I, I understand. You can say, well, he maybe he wasn't thinking about it, but he's rich enough to pay somebody to think about it. That's all I, I'm saying. Because I, I, I very seriously doubt that he called on him or Tiana, called on the phone themselves to say, we need this flight. <laughs> so yeah. what I'm saying is when I did get out, there would be some reorganization for someone in my camp for sure. But, okay. okay. I'm, that's it, just my I'm opinion. Say, I understand what you're saying about whatever. I'm just saying that in general, that uh, we should be legal. I totally agree with that. I, 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 I want to use shrimp. I'm going to go. Um, I totally agree. You going to put them all in the boat? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't, you know, I hate to lose them because they be, they'll definitely cook if we put them. So we put them all right there, so mm -hmm. we can sign them. Yeah, that's what they put Okay, but yeah, um, I, I I just don't. Uh, a lot of people are trying to say, oh, he just was treated so wrongly, and he was done so wrong. I, I I don't agree. The law is the law. What I'm saying, and all of us, I'm not gonna say all of us, but most of us that are of age, at some point in your life, you got caught up with the law, whether it was just on whatever, where you weren't aware of that you. Could, Oh, I'm um, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm yeah. talking about. And then you think that it's possible to be 40 years old and never ran into the law where something had happened, and you didn't. You like it's a slip up. Like, dog, I didn't think about that. Okay. But when you go to court and say, dog, I didn't think about that, the judge is still not going to say whatever. I mean, either way, he's going to do his probation, and he's going to sit back and pay his assignment. But they say he can go to jail for two years. Which means you don't get your probation. Uh oh, well, maybe you're right. <laughs> I mean, he had six ounces on him. This, they never purse. It's not like he trashed him. He had a stone purse. He got caught with a personal mistake. Well, according to the law, that, that's enough. You're going to get your probation and a fine. That's it. Well, we'll see. I don't know. And if you get anything more than that, that's just like, what, what you trying to get at this way? Because pretty soon, they'll be leaving down there anyway. So you might as well be what you can get now. We're going to set the plate. I'm ready. You go. I love those much. Why didn't you get the different ones? Cause I, I like the, I like those better. Really? Yes, I do. I like those better. Yeah, I did my first time trying. Uh, he said Chinese or Japanese. That was one That's of them what right. Chinese or Japanese. Well, it didn't say Chinese or Japanese. 
It said Galleon. It could be something else. You know, just in the round. Just in the right. Round and stuff. But they're either no, no, no. They're, they're either Chinese or Japanese broccoli. They said it. That's what it said on now. See y'all. It's either Chinese or Japanese broccoli. The shrimp I really read. Okay. Okay. They ain't gonna get no picture in that. Okay, so let me get some of these. The shrimp. Okay. Let me get me a couple of these. I ain't gonna have no mushrooms. I'm gonna bet. I can't get it. There, I got some of them. Okay. 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 Oh, Here, let me shrimp. Okay, the, the steak is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm still gonna need some steak sauce or something. I don't think I have any of that. You got steak over there? I got chicken. Okay, there okay. you go. Okay, take the juice off of here, y'all. Okay. Oh, I just want so much it's coming out of here. Let me get something else, honey. Like, I really want these mushrooms. I'm, 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 uh, anyway, y'all, that was, uh-oh. I'm going to get it. I just want to see if it's going to brown the remote. And it did. Okay. See if it's in the marks right there. That's there it. I go, y'all. Steak, shrimp, I've got the broccoli, the squash, the zucchini, and all of that. Okay, steak sauce. Still going to need that. Okay. Huh? plate. Like, uh, I already showed the man, huh? Oh, no, I'm telling my I'm making it cute. See? Oh. This how you make it cute, cute plate. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. So, what are we talking about? We were talking about. We. Where food was. So, we already prayed, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me try it, y'all. <clears throat> it just tastes like something green. Mm -hmm. Closer to greens than broccoli. Yeah. But it cooked up really fast. Like the stems even got soft. Like it's good though. I thought it was going to. That's pretty good. We'll look and see whether it's Chinese or Japanese. And, um, mm, oh. And if he said, if either one of us said, well, hell, ain't no way for nothing to say the wrong. We didn't say Chinese and Japanese. But anyway, it's broccoli. And it is good. It's, it's, it's green. Is it hot? Mm. Is it mm. the hot or the pot? Mmm. 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 -hmm. It's hot. It's not good. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. Steak and shrimp. Mmm. We are laying the I know y'all strip good. Yeah, it is. Mmm. -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm. I don't know what I put in there, babe. Mm. <laughs> mm. I just thought the mix was good. Good marinade. Mmm. 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 The mushrooms are everything. Mm -hmm. I love mushrooms. I used to like mushrooms, y'all, until mm -hmm. we went somewhere one day to a Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. and everything looked awful. <laughs> it was. <laughs> but yeah. they were there with other people. Like if it had just been me and my family, we probably got them left. But we were there at the restaurant on behest. I don't know if I use that right. Anyway, uh, we have been invited there. So I didn't want to be rude and go and just be like, oh, God, you picked the awful plate. And but so they had mushrooms on the bar. Um, it was at a Chinese place. It was at um, I know exactly where it was. It was at um, over there by the post office. The restaurant is right around the corner from the post office. We went there all the time. I'm, I know you're talking about Mountain Pine, I think the name of it. It's uh, Grand Pacific. Yep, 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 yep. Mm hmm. 
It was before they moved. They moved right around the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they moved from right. Right, moved from right. The old line. Boom. Y'all are at home. Uh, that day. Though, but they got good food over there. Though. They, and they, they really do. Like, if you have Java Memphis, Java and Starbucks, Grand Pacific, it's pretty cool. I'm not advertising, you're telling me the facts. But, yeah, that particular day, the food was, it just wasn't very appetizing looking. I was so not wanting to be there. But, like I said, I had to buy something to eat because we, we, we were invited there. So, I didn't want to be rude. And they had those mushrooms on the bar. Mm -hmm. And I do like mushrooms. I just wasn't a fan of them being whole. I was a fan of them being in something and kind of like being masked by the tape. Mmm. 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 But that day, I tasted them. And I was like, oh, wow. It was a whole new world. Mmm. -hmm. So now, I love me a mushroom burger. They can mm -hmm. cook up any flavor though. That's the point. You mm -hmm. can put them in the end, so they can be sweet, savory. Like, you can really do too, you can do too much with the mushrooms. Just the point. I love them. Mm -hmm. That she comes it out. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, we also have Tuesday. I hope we'll be back on the video again. Hey, Lori. Mmm. Okay. For the final reveal, after everything he's doing to his hair is done. Um, mm, you know. They're gonna get another clip. Without, you know, my Battle White. Battle White? Yeah, you're having a judge on my own head. Mmm, 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 mmm. You think you can't have this? Mmm, it's kind of hard to choke that thing. What? <laughs> what? Like, around, what? Honey. Stop it. Stop mm. I just ate parsley. You know what fresh and green type? You taste like nothing to me. You're supposed to be like a pop of green, refreshing. Mm-hmm. That's why I want to put some cilantro on my mm. pizza. Mm-mm. I like cilantro. I like it. Wait a minute. Wait, do one more. Okay. Now, y'all. Tell me what you think about this monkeypox situation. I ain't dealing with it. That's mm. it, that's all. I'm not dealing with it. We went, we just so happened to make it, oh, I, I just so happened to make it COVID free so far by the sheer grace of God and, and, and the good good attentiveness of my good husband. And oh, that's me. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, do not do that. Don't do that, sir. Uh -huh. But yeah, but real talk, we step back. I'm not going to deal with it. Be alright right here. Give me my six give it give me my six feet. I ain't messing with y'all like that. Mm. Be all right. We ain't gotta change not nothing. I will have like not one bit. Yeah, we do. How? Oh. Even when I mask on, we still will when meeting friends. We still will hug. You know what I'm saying? We chill out. We'll have to adjust that. Huh? Not, but we're not going anywhere right now. And, and, uh, we're going to Vegas next month. That's next month. Don't hug me in Vegas if you see me. <laughs> don't don't do it. It might it might die down by then. Mm -mm. It might be. It's just really getting him doing this insurgence. I'm just using words out over the place to die by. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, but, wrong me up. Oh, <laughs> y'all know that. However, wrong. Don't mm -hmm. even know how But uh, it don't matter. I we don't want box. I'm gonna speak it into existence that next month it'll be done. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's my prayer for the universe. You know what I'm saying? I'm just throwing mm -hmm. that out. Till then, I'm still walking. I'm still walking on that. I can keep on rolling. Stay with me. Give me my six feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Stay with me. Mm. For sure. Baby monkey pox, y'all. Mm. Well, somebody told me yesterday when they come and said, it wasn't Ebola, but it was one of them like that. It was like, uh, if Ebola comes back, I'm out. <laughs> or something like that. But it wasn't Ebola, it was, so, it was another one. But you know what? It Malaria or something like that. It's still here, but you messed up part about it. Mm. The disease ain't dead. They're not gone. They, they exist. Mm -hmm. This night, not It's here. still somewhere in the world. Somebody got it. Mm -hmm. But 
I'm over here. Get it right now. But yeah, because certain countries, uh, you know, build immunity within their geographic areas according to what's there, you know? Like, in the United States, may would, you know, be suffer on, like, a flu shot. Yeah. As opposed to giving you, you know, you get the tetanus shot every so often, every 10 years. <clears throat> but they suggest you get the flu shot every year because that's something that would be bad that would ravage over here. As opposed to in wherever, they may be more um, proactive about giving you a malaria shot. You know, something that is geographically, you're most likely to get there, what I'm saying. They just sit back on the Like in New Zealand, was I just dissipating? You know, I hate these dissipating. Was I just dissipating with Matthew? Did you just cut me off? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's the <laughs> listen? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> For real. Oh, God. What were you saying? Uh uh, not, you know, um, New Zealand, their healthcare system is like 100, and they're like the first country in the whole entire world to become in, in 100% COVID free during the quarantine. They okay, they use what they say. They're like, okay, everything else, no, no COVID cases in the hospital, no nothing. They didn't know what their healthcare center, what they have going on, I mean, they, they, their particular practices are set up to prevent flu. You know. This is the way their system is set up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, but, you know, and it's not the biggest country in the world, but they are. If you've ever, if you've ever seen pictures of it, I would like to go there one day. But, New Zealand? Yeah. It's beautiful. It sounds fun. It is beautiful. But um, mm -hmm. they're set up that way. If the United States will actually sit down, buckle down, and go by, like, the health care center, if they say they're going to do something, if they actually do it, if his citizens actually went along with what the government said with our health care. Who's going to do that? Exactly. Is that in the United States live? Exactly. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody doing that. Ah, uh, who's going to do what? Do right. And that's, I guess, that's, the problem. that's one of the drawbacks from staying in the land of the free. Mm -hmm. You know, you do what you want to do. But mm -hmm. over there, I think they have democracy as well. But they listen to that. They're like this. They're like they're like, look, hey, this thing can happen. We're gonna shut these guys down. We ain't touching no bank. Man, man, boom, bam, boom, off thing you know. COVID gone. We're not even worried about it. Then they up out and free and running around with everybody else on quarantine because we acting the darn fools and we don't listen to nobody. Oh uh, yeah. I yeah. mean the United States is hard headed. That part. Yeah, I didn't be your hit. It's got to be a little bit longer, honey. <laughs> you must say. Say, I do. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, not sorry, though. All right, so I'm going to cook me a little more steak, y'all. Mm. I did be y'all here. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Glory. They normally run, run, run a little bit longer. I, I, I normally run them. They normally run them just a little bit longer. Mm. That steak was good. I need to finish my shrimp. You going to put it all in there? Might as well. I'm going to get that piece. Mm. Ooh, that's a big old crushed red pepper right there. It's big, huh? Yeah. Hey baby, can you get us some sweet chili so I eat with these shrimp, right? We don't have any. Oh, live. It's on my list. It's on the list. It's on the grocery list. Oh, God, we don't have no. I was going to make some. Literally, but I didn't do it. But I think I really, literally just bought some. It seems like to me, I remember being in the grocery store, like, literally, just like really. You just like, want me to go look in the refrigerator. Would be nice. Good thing you know me. <laughs> Oh no, what am I doing? That's my stuff there. I told you that we got Polynesian? Yep. Polynesian it is. So, but anyway, y'all, uh, because some of these topics that we have talked about today, we really don't know a lot about. Well, me, I'm going to say me. I ain't looked up nothing. I ain't looked up not one thing. But I've heard through the grapevine and I've seen. Uh, You've heard through the rumor me on? Yeah, that part right there. The rumor me old. And don't take my word on nothing. Go look it up for yourself. Don't take nobody's word for it. Do your own research. When it comes to these health things, for sure. Especially. Please do your own research. Go look for you, honey. Mm -hmm. mm, don't come in my comment to my lips. You say, uh-uh, uh, but... Mm -hmm. Don't come to me. Uh -huh. I listen to everybody not. Look, I don't know what they're in they're, they're not, I am not Dr. Fauci. But that reminds me, I don't get no trip ad. Mm -hmm. If I don't know it, I ain't read it. I tell my baby not to get no tree bag. We should got most stuff down in there too. Right. 
up in the pot. Nigga, eat them all. You not gonna eat them. Well, I'm, I, I have me another squash and zucchini if I don't, if I say so for myself. You got plenty of other in there. Yeah. I, all that we put in there, we, we did not take all that out. I right. know, I just want a little bit more. Oh no, stay up there, stay. Oh, we did. Yes, we did. Oh, hold up, there goes one. There goes one. I'm gonna just need a few more. Are uh, we ready here? What yet? I think so. Put that one over. End up like that. Good job, sir. Good job. No, I want mine. I, I want mine. I want to take these two right here. I don't want mine cooking any longer. I don't want mine cooking any longer. Yeah. Um, and then, I think it was Rachel. <laughs> Rachel's <laughs> If I'm mistaken, Rachel's comment uh, that she had to say on it was about, um, you know, mm, she ain't taking her mask off. And so, we want to say, hmm. We want to say Dr. Fauci. Fauci, whatever. Yeah, he's done too. <laughs> I think it's great. That, that's what made his name pop up in my head. Mm hmm. Why are we not coming? You want to tip it? Mm hmm. Oh. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That was good. Mm hmm. Anyway, y'all, we got more stuff and stuff down in there and everything. Mm hmm. And everything. But today is my day off from going live. So I'm going to have the rest of my day with my husband. So y'all got to go. Oh, yeah. Get out. The Beverly Housewives. Oh, we're not going to talk about it. We can't say get out. <laughs> we have to say there's the door. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut Young girls are petty. They some petty. Oh, Lord, they some petty people. Y'all, we're going to finish the rest of our meal off the camera. We love y'all. We love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoy. Aye, baby. Bye. Baby. Don't do it. Shut it. Don't do it. Shut it. Y'all, do I love the hair color. I love the hair color. So. My God. Anyway, y'all, I love you guys so, so much. I truly should do. So I'm a newly gen. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you because you didn't have to be here. You could totally be with us in the world, but you told me right here with us. And we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm a legion. Hey, right around where you go. Hey, right around where you go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Just look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you should have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Ooh, I mean, my say too. Mm-hmm. 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 Mmm, they're good. Mm. They're really good. We ain't got to try nothing mm. this time. Except for the bunch of cars. Oh, yeah, what? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what no, no, it's something that we're working on. Next one got pretty good too. But today was more of a mm -hmm. Americanized hot pot. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Serving and turkey. Right. Y'all been y'all. We have been y'all. Mm -hmm. Love y'all. Bye bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Don't it like a cherry. Don't it like a cherry. The boy done switched up on you. Don't it like a cherry.
Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. If this your very first time to this channel, you're <laughs> that subscribe button. As you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. Beside the word subscribe, so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of it, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, 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 like a share, and go. Comment like a share and go. Comment like a share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to don't get to comment like a share. Okay, got checks out. We're good and pray. We're gonna get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Y'all let me get this fan on here, honey. Let me get this fan on. Okay, you got to go up to the side. The band is in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. The band is in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. Let's see if you're not your fresh. He is. Also, y'all, hubby got a new cup. Oh, Lord, she Made by Fantastic Monroe. Yeah, his new cup is right there today. Okay, also up here, we got our lips hot sauce. If you like your bottom, look way up top, squeeze right some blue. Hit that link, and right there, you get to lips hot sauce. And nice. your lips nerds. Okay. All right, y'all. A uh, little bit has diamond to do with him today as well. And you guys, today for the food, baby. We got juicy crawfish. Again, you know it's our favorite. Yes, it is. So, let's get it all poured out here, honey. And see what we got. Yeah, yeah that one that'll be first. Right. Yeah, that one that'll be first. Let's get it all poured out here, honey. And get it all set up here and everything. Get our thumbnail so we can get the E9. Y'all, we got a topic today. I'm going to put this video here ahead of some more videos because it's very, very current. And I want to talk about it because it does with mental health. And baby, yeah. we want to talk about this, y'all. We do. Close to home, back home, honey. Here you go. Okay. Thank you. Oh, 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 good love, yes, sir. Oh, 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 let's get out the crab and majiz and things and stuff and everything. Oh, it was hot. <laughs> oh, all the crawfish are going to be at the bottom, too. Let me get some, you know, I like to put some of them up there in the front. Good. Let me stick some of these crawfish up here, y'all. I like to have some of them in the front for the very girl. Oh, some of the crawfish. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like to have a few crawfish right there. You got your other one up? Mm, okay. I'll make sure we got it on the right. Okay. And now this one, huh? Let's get some more, some more food up here, hand. You got it. Hold it. Right. Oh, got it. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. There you ooh, go. Ooh, I got okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Come through salt. Snap. You got it? Uh-huh. All right. Oh, uh, these stupid potatoes. Ooh, come through green lip. Y'all, I'm setting it up as we go. Okay. I can put most of these here over there by you because you know I ain't finna eat these. Oh, you know? uh, I don't really care for those too much, you guys. Them green lips. Mm-mm. Them green lips, baby. So I got you a potato over there. I don't need it there. Ooh, Ooh where my clams? You need bag right here. Okay. Mm. Mm. I give you a corn in the front. I get you a corn in front of them. For the prison, Casey. Oh. <laughs> don't drop it now. Yeah, I see. All I'm right. Oh, I might eat that green that muscle right there. I might eat that. It looks like it's cooked a lot. Okay. Mm. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get this one here back here. Put the potatoes back this way here. For some height here, honey. Okay. Now. Mm. Put that damn there on top there, too. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me get the presentation up here for y'all. Y'all know y'all be liking to see what's going on, honey. Ooh, that go on. Oh, give me some clams. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 
Okay. Let's put this here. There's a little crab or two up through there. Like that down. And put some another crab or whatever up there like that right there. <sighs> nah. Why you turn around where they couldn't see you? I didn't check on you see. Messing with stuff. What well, how is it? Mm. Don't do that. Okay. Get a crab here, a little bit of height now. Mm. I'm gonna put a potato up under your crab so it has some height there too. Here's yours up there good. Oh, you had it better. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm say that. Mm. All right. We need one green lip muscle right in there. Put some color there. Mm -hmm. Y'all leave me alone. 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 All right. Now, let's get the thumbnail. Mm. Ooh, that sauce. No, it be buzzing. All right. All right, y'all. All right. We got the thumbnail. Now. All right. So, in here today, y'all. Ooh, come to. In here today, y'all, we got crawfish, we got shrimp today for the food. <laughs> <laughs> we got crawfish, we got shrimp, we got clams, we have got sausage, we got potatoes, we got corn, we got uh, green lip mussels, we have got uh, and snow crab legs. Right. And what we got? Right. But did I said potatoes, potatoes yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. All right, now let's go. Right. Let's get to eat. You know you just put. Let's go. You just never mind. Uh -huh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Mm. Mm. I'm like, you know you did mm. so? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know I went clam first, y'all. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Oh, that sauce, no, it'd be good. Mm -hmm. We got the juicy house special sauce, extra hot. That's like what we got. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what we got. Yeah, girl, I want that today, though. Mm. Mm. I need the one of them. Mm -mm. You got the sausage. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, y'all, today, our game, you want a shrimp? Mm. We're going to be talking about mental health, y'all. When we talk about mental health, y'all, we really, really are. And how sometimes things can happen and just make your mind click. Mm, 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 mm. Chop this shrimp. Mm. Mm. And that's why it's important mm. for you to see after your mental health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or if you know somebody's around you and need some help and need to see after their mental health, it's, you know, you should, you should. I help them out. Mm. Get them some professional help. Mm. But before we get into it, how y'all doing today, huh? <laughs> how y'all doing? Y'all, mm. this morning, I'm going to put this video ahead of some other videos because this is current and I want to talk back while it's still current, y'all. So y'all look, this morning I woke up to, there was a man, I don't forgot his name. I got it. Hold on. Mm. I got it. I said it. Mm -hmm. Let me put it on my phone. Let's just take a seat. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. I got it. In the state of Mississippi, y'all. Tupelo, Mississippi. Uh, Patterson? Mm. Yeah, Patterson. That's it. His name was Corey something. Corey Patterson. Wayne Patterson. Yep. Mm. Mm. Them on y'all, about 5, they say about 523 this morning. Mm-hmm. A man by the name of Corey Wayne Patterson in Tupelo, Mississippi. He worked for the airline. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He's the one who fill up the planes. Like, put gas in them or fuel them. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's that he does work for aviation. I don't know if he got a pilot's license, but he definitely know how to fly planes. <laughs> got well, y'all. Got him one of these planes. Stole this plane, y'all. Stole the plane. You hear me? We ain't talking about no little old, little old bitty plane that you had dust crop. Stole a big, I think they said a C90. Double engine. Double engine 
stole this plane, y'all, and took that plane on a joyride, honey. The plane was full of gas, full of fuel. <laughs> Man, man, he builds it up, so I'm sure he knew. But then get up there in the air and call 911. Oh, call 911, y'all. Mm. You look it up. Y'all, this happened in Tupelo, Mississippi, right off Main Street, or West Main. This morning. This morning. I'm going to put this video ahead of some more videos so y'all can get this out to you. Mm -hmm. So, y'all. The man take the plane up there and call number one and threaten the crash the plane into Walmart. Mm hmm Y'all know I got family down there in the very next city. New Island, Mississippi is next to Tupelo, Mississippi. I got family in Tupelo. Yeah, right. I do. So I get the call to my folks, let make sure everybody know what's going on. You know what I mean? If you see a plane flying, uh, flying low, don't just be looking at it. Get the, out of Dodge, you know? Because they didn't know where the plane was going to land. This man was circling all the way down to mm, in Bent County, Pice Camp, uh, um, you know, the Holly Springs, Pice Camp, Hickory Flat area. Back and forth from there to Tupelo. Back and forth, back and forth for hours. It was all over the news, all over Facebook. Now, y'all. What do you think a person's mental health had to be? Mm, 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 just mm, not. Mm, mm, mm. He had to. He just, he just outrightly said, you know what? Can't do it no more. And that's it. Clocked Stole the whole plane, y'all. He done clocked out. Mm. But the thing of it was, he threatened to hit Walmart and stuff. He, he's threatening mm. to sit back there and blend, just, drop, just drop the plane out there. But not only at Walmart. At Walmart. I'm not just trying to attack Walmart. I'm trying to commit suicide along with it. You know what I'm saying? This, this man. Can't kill other folks. You didn't answer just to kill other people. This man had seriously mentally sit back and clock completely out. This paycheck, man. Mm hmm. Completely blocked out. I knew one too. Y'all, <laughs> I can't eat that green lip muscle. I tried. I got it. Don't worry about it. I tried. I tried one of them, y'all. I just don't. I just. Mm -mm. I got it. Mm -mm. You got to worry about it. You like your hair? Mm hmm. You got to worry about it. Baby, you have all of them. I'll take it. Mm. Dark crab leg. Mm-hmm. Pretty nice size there. Y'all, mental health is something real. Mm. It's real. But you said the reason why he clicked was... Did, did they, did now, they I don't it? know that for sure. That's just what I heard. I didn't read that. I, I kept searching them over the internet to try to see if they said that. Like they had said <laughs> that... His family was on board with him, but I couldn't find it on the internet either, so mm, that's why I didn't add that part in. Like, what you call it? Yeah, that's, well, that was hearsay. Somebody I talked to in Mississippi told me that. Oh. That um, they said that his father was a police officer and had got killed um, earlier or recently, yeah. and that um, they didn't arrest anybody for it, and that was the reason why he was doing it. That's, um, what, that's what, what I was told, but I don't want it to be true now. Mm, so I don't want to be spreading it. But the facts we know is that he took this plane He up took that plane. He called, he mm. called police. And he was <coughs> stuck in a threatened land. <laughs> the, the, the landed in a Walmart. Crashed into a Walmart. Because my, I was on the phone with my aunt telling her about it. And she was going through New Orleans, Mississippi at the time. And she said... Yeah, the police, they didn't close down the Walmart in New Orleans as well. Mm-hmm. Mm. So they did take it serious. They did. Which is a good thing. Because mm-hmm. Anything can happen. Just because you think this man ain't going to do it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You don't know they milk the Oh, state. excuse me. That's all right. Clam down. Mm. Mm. You don't know about the milk the state. So you, you can't sit back there and just say, well, oh, no, that man ain't never going to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Can you uh, think about the liability if they had them and he had them? But no, I'm telling you, just in case, whatever. If, if you sit back and shoot somebody on that bird, whatever, like in your family, don't sit back and say, well, I know him, he ain't double. Or a friend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I they ain't the type of person that did that and the other. You don't know what somebody would do. You really don't. You know, he probably know what he was going to do when he woke up this morning. You, you, know, you, you know what I'm saying? So you just don't, don't do it. Don't do that. If you know somebody or yourself, if you haven't thought, and 
So you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you think you know somebody that is in a mental health crisis. Take it serious. Take it serious. Take it serious. Please take it serious. Please. And get them some help. I picked it up my whole clan for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Clam down, clam down. Mm -hmm. And like I said, y'all, this was a pretty big prank. This wasn't a little old bitty prank. You for real with it? Mm -hmm. When he took that sucker up there, no matter what his mouth said, well, like, I'm going to get something that's going to make some damage. That's what he did. You know what I'm saying? He said, mm -hmm. he said what he was going to do. He probably just called 911 for, for his own help. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I need somebody to come call 911. Yeah. Call me down. Well, it made it make sure the news was coming in. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That is true. Mm -hmm. That is true. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't speculate what's going on in the other man's mm -hmm. head. But mm -hmm. it's right. You know? It's not gonna help. It could be any kind of way. I just hope you take that man some help. Cause right. all the time, locking somebody up all the time ain't well. He gonna be locked up now. Let me make sure I take it back. Cause soon as he, he landed it uh, somewhere over there in Ashland in Ben County. He's in the field somewhere. Mm-hmm. Well, they had negotiated with him at one time to get him to land it at the Tupelo Airport. Mm, mm, mm. And he went down as if like he was going to land it and then, then land, kept on going. Yeah, look, I don't trust that. Uh, I don't trust that. Well, at that point, he was going to jail regardless. So, man, but he didn't land it. He went on, kept going. This thing that it is, I understand what happened. You can understand the situation. And if he really did have a mental break, like this or something like serious about it, I don't believe you should punish somebody. By having a psychotic episode, you know what I'm saying? Not like, yeah, what well, he did is wrong, but he didn't truly hurt anybody. True, you, you know what I'm saying? It'd be make different. him play for the funeral, you know. Now, I'm like, give him a couple of years or whatever on the probation, make, make, get, whatever, get the man some help. But mm. see to it that he gets the help that he needs first, you right. know what I'm saying? That don't, don't let it be like, okay, you just. Oh. Don't put it at the like, okay, you didn't just messed up, so uh we don't we just gonna have to do you in, you know what I'm saying? But you know this gonna be federal so He's it's gonna not, get done in. I mean, I'm just I understand the situation, but he, the federal system could also make sure that he gets some help and put it out there to say, well, okay, this that and other this happened. Show show the country that hey yeah, we care too. You know what I'm saying? But I doubt that. I doubt, it, I doubt it, but that would be a nice gesture from our country. From it our would country. be. And that should probably still be how they should deal with it, you know. It's like look, make sure hey, he get the help that he needs. So that at some point he can be, you know, reintegrated into society. Mm, mm, mm. But I very seriously doubt this what's gonna happen. I very seriously doubt that's what's gonna go on, y'all. When that man got down, when they got that plane down out there, baby, they got that man. Mm hmm and They went over out there in that field and got that man. That was gonna happen anyway. But I'm saying, mm. But I'm not. Mm. What are they gonna do behind it? Right, that could have to. Just mm. behind just shot him. Federal case. You know what I'm saying? You just said, hey, hey, that other, that other, mm. I don't trust it. That other, he turned to go back in there. Boom, bam, damn, he did. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that well, nobody there in the field. Right. Well, nobody there in the field, and nobody got no cameras on. Mm mm. Because I know that they they charged him with grand larceny and um, making terrorist threats. That's the charges he got. Mm-hmm. That's the charge you got. Grand larceny, you know, for stealing the plane and terrorist threat. I'm making terrorist threat. I'm trying to think about how long that's you think you know more like five, ten years? I don't know. I don't know about the terrorist threat. Yeah. I don't know about the terrorist threat, but grand larceny ain't number like five to ten, depending on I don't know. You just stole something. You stole the plane, but eventually you just you, you just stole something. But and, and, you brought it back, and you brought it back. So well, he actually didn't bring it back. But he, they got it back. They got it back, yeah. So mm -hmm. now he called him and told him where to pick it up. It. <laughs> See, look, he was trying. He was trying. Look, I was going to bring it back, but y'all, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I got well, it was a lady. Guy. It was a lady that you know, he he landed somewhere behind a, a fire department in a field. Right. Mm-hmm. So it was a lady that heard it when it, you know, came down. Of course, she's abreast of what's going on. She heard it when it came down. And I'm on Facebook, y'all, because mm -hmm. <clears throat> they got the aviation screen up on Facebook, and they finally it as it's going through the air. So she knew mm, 
And she was watching about where he was. Mm. She heard it when it fell. You know, when it came yeah. down. Uh-huh. And so she called 911 and told him that it had landed behind her. And then they say she said she ran across the street to her father and law and got in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait. I mean, when somebody, that, somebody, you know, that had a mental break, she don't know if he finna come at her or not. That's true. And if she was close enough to hit it land. You don't know where you gonna run to? Right. But then, huh, huh. that feel. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm thinking, right, who's still the humanity? I just told you behind a, no. a court. That's what I'm saying. It's like, okay, somebody cropped around there, you just ruined somebody mm-hmm. else's life in because of the way condition does mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Another charge. Damage the property and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? It's a whole nother charge. They, they don't rack them up anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm, say, just, I'm just counting them up right now. Thank they you. say that the plane was largely intact. So it was some damage to the plane. That's because you didn't know what the heck you were doing when you were coming down the lane. Well, according to what I read, they was having pilots to help him, like, try to land it anyway. But what I can't understand is what, I mean, he just knew how to get it up there in the air, didn't know how to get down? That's possible. Auto takeoff. Well, auto land should work too. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I did read that said that had, <laughs> that had pilots, you know, helping them, trying to get him to land it in Tupelo. You know mm-hmm. what? But the thing ever is, by the time he had come down and up to try to land it, maybe he, he you know what I'm saying, you get, that, that's when your fear and stuff will sit back in, like, nigga, I can't, I can't believe I'm actually doing it. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, Let me. when we took off, he had, all the adrenaline was going to, okay, we're going to rush, we're going to press these buttons, we're going to go, we're going to go, we're going to go. Once he got up there, okay, yeah, I'm up here. But it get damn hard. I mean, you, 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 you put yourself in this situation. Yeah, in a you, drink, man. You did that thing up there. Uh, but now, like I said, y'all, I'm not saying this is true because I didn't see it online. But I did. They did say that his wife and his two kids was in the plane with him. Now, like I said, now I don't know that to be true because I didn't see that reported on a news station. That's just somebody tell me that from Mississippi. You know, word of mouth. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I was saying to myself, I don't, I don't think that. I, 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 I mean, because I can't see her. Whether she knew he was having a mental break or not, she know he he on that plane. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I can tell you this. <laughs> Production ain't getting me to go up in there with him. No, ma'am, Pam. Like, uh-uh, you mad? You I got plenty of questions to ask. Mm-mm. You know, did why he, is we getting in this plane? Did he kidnap the family? Mm-hmm. Did he kidnap his family? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying because you in the state. Look, I, don't, I don't know where you're doing. He don't know where he at either. I know I ain't going voluntarily. I don't think so. I'll part of production to the end of the earth. Or to the cockpit. I mean, or to the door. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-mm. No, sir. Mm-mm. 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 No, sir. I just think what could have been going through her, if that's true, what could have been going through her mind to make her get on that plane? If that's true now. That's allegedly. If it's true, and I'm a devil's at no, not devil's at yet. I'm in her shoes. Make sure I talk him down throughout the whole thing. I'm going to talk him down from the ground, though. I'm just saying, though. Maybe the man, if you get swept up in a situation, a lot of, I don't know, stuff can happen. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes some crazy stuff can actually happen to people who don't mean, they don't mean, they don't mean nothing by it. She just been trying to sit back and stick with her husband. But before having the kids there, that's just stupid. I ain't getting no problem with you. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you know how to drive this thing. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. No, I can't do that one. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. No, I'm all right. Baby, you have to run over me with the plane or something because I ain't getting in there. How to get past security? He worked out. He worked out. I mean, he worked out. He he filled up the planes with fuel, so they wouldn't have stopped stop him. No, but I'm talking about how to get the family back. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't know that, if that's, that's true that, or not. That, 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 that's too many what you call it. But we, what we do know is he, he stole that plane. Stole that plane. For that's sure. Well, that, 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 that's all it is. That's, that's what we do mm-hmm. know. Cause kind of nine that I was watching. He was down there on the ground, you know, with the, the, with the, you know, you could see him. He was down there on the ground. The plane was, the plane was flying over him and everything. Baby, baby, I'm telling you something. If you know something wrong with your mental health, honey, don't get me up. And mm. just don't, don't, don't sit back and wait on it. Hey, something happened to me. Hey, I'm depressed today. 
Hey, it's from whatever the heck it is that's going on with you. Baby. I got these thoughts. All right, and it's from going to my. I need a little help right now. Call somebody. There's somebody on the phone. And if you stand around and you know somebody, um, got some mental health issues and ain't trying to help and do nothing about it. Whatever it is that they do when they break, you just, I mean. You know, I'm on the phone before. I'm almost? I'm on the phone before. Mm-hmm. Don't you act like you're like, well, dad, no, no, dying, nothing. You knew something wrong there. You care anything about that person, you could have called somebody. Or the people around them that they can hurt. Mm-hmm. You don't know. You don't know what people will or will not do. So I need to say, well, had, I didn't think he would do that or she would do that. If he had a wife and kids and stuff at the house, he could have killed the wife and the kids and just ran out. I mean, anything could have happened. You're gonna kill him anyway, if, if that's the case, that was in the pan. Let's just say, I'm gonna crash this pan down to dinner. If that's the case, that might have done that. And, he, and hold up, he's trying to hit Walmart. He could just walk up on Walmart and shot everybody. You know because the thing of it is, is if he if that was truly his intention not to come back down and to for real, for real, go on and do it, what if he didn't even call 911 and tell him? Right. You know what I'm saying? Walmart is a big place. And a lot of people be in Walmart. It's Saturday morning. You know, that's probably one of the busiest times at Walmart. But you know, Saturday morning. That's how you get them school shootings. That's how you get them what's called masters like in that Mendeley mm -hmm. Bay. That's how you get people like here trying to play. I mean, because. Somebody's seen that coming. Somebody's seen that coming. Somebody sit back there and saw that man about to break and He just sit back there and get bumped. Luckily this time nobody got hurt. Right. Luckily this time nobody hurt, got hurt. But if y'all don't, if we don't, as a, as, as just people, as human Community. beings, it, it, you know I mean look out for one another. P period. Point blank. Like look, I ain't got to be your friends and know like, hey, something wrong with you, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, something. Hey, dude, mm -hmm. look, look, something wrong with you, bro. Hey, you need to uh, you need somebody to talk to. Nah, we. I do know that mental health is. I ain't been do all that. Now. I will. Mm -hmm. Depending on what it is, like, hey, now nah, if we yeah, make to, sure I'm not with you. Cause I'm gonna have something to say about that. Don't do that. I'm gonna tell you if some, if I somebody live around me and I see that they got mental, mental health issues, I would watch to learn their norm. You know, cause some people they mind tell them to go to the mailbox, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, forth. You know, different things. I would watch to know what their normalcy was, and if something mm, 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 was different or out of the way. Yeah. Then I probably would, you know, call the authorities and get, you know, somebody involved. But if I see you having a mental break, I'm not coming up to you and saying nothing. But sometimes you don't take out it though. I'm gonna call the police. Sometimes, but see, sometimes you don't take out it. It's just like, hey, how you doing? Are you all right? Type situation. Mm -mm. You know how you been? How you been out? And you like just that and the other. And you're like, you look at her like, hey, you okay? Whatever you say, I thought you were to say. I oh, yeah, something like that, maybe. You know what I'm saying? She just break, somebody just break down crying. Well, nah, 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 nah. You ain't gonna just be with Evan to walk away. Oh, yes, I am. No, I ain't. I ain't. I said that I did because she needed somebody to talk to right then. Uh -huh. See, that, that's that situation right there. See, right then, the dick I used to back up. See, this how folks is. I'm not gonna let nobody hurt me. She what I'm saying? Right. I'll she... do all I can to call the police or maybe stay in a safe uh, distance from you until somebody gets there to help you to make sure that you don't do anything to yourself. I will do something like that. But for me being a negotiation, the negotiator, it's not it ain't gonna be me. It's not negotiating. Cause I don't have the patience. You already know how I am. I'm I'm quick to pull the blicky. Oh yeah. If I've been if I've been in danger, but she ain't crying though. How uh -huh. you in that? She crying. You in danger. Now what I'm saying now, you remember when I was running one of my stores on Perkins? Mm -hmm. Remember I hired a girl mm -hmm. who uh, she was a schizophrenic. And she had done killed her husband. And now she had done, you know, been locked up and everything. She had done done a time. And she had done came back and she was on medicine that, you know, made her shake and stuff. But I hired her. Um, she had a sweet spirit. And she never did do anything wrong. But when she got to feeling crazy, I made her promise me. I said, baby, look. There's a lot of things in this restaurant that can hurt other people. Now, if you get to feel any kind of way, you come tell me. So that I can protect everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Because if you flip out, you got to throw high grease on everybody in this junk. I don't know. But I did give an opportunity because I do understand that most of the time when these things happen, it just be a psychotic break. Just at that moment, something that happened just make you just go haywire. So I'm not saying that I'm afraid 
or people with mental health issues, what I'm saying is that I'm not going to put myself in harm's way. Mm -hmm. I'll watch you from a safe distance and make sure that you get the help that you need. Mm -hmm. But I can't be the negotiator for you. <laughs> pass on. If you're looking for somebody to negotiate with you, honey, and need to be talked down, pass on by lips. It's not a negotiation, though. It's, it's, I'm not talking you down. I'm just like, look, okay, is that the other? You broke down, is that the other? I'm going to listen. I'm going to sit there. I'll sit there and I will gladly sit back there. It, I will listen because I would want somebody to listen to me. You know what I'm saying? If I was in this situation, I was like, look, hey, 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 is that the other? But I'm not, I'm not hopping in no planes. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna run and grab no guns and shoot up no miles and stuff like that. And I, I'm not, I ain't. Well, people have mental health issues, they do, you know, and those are real. And, and, and they don't, and most of the time, they don't think about whatever. They don't think about hurting other people. It's, it's whatever hurting in them, it's, it's being whatever out. Mm. <laughs> don't take it personal. I mean, I, I would take it personal. Well, honey, I ain't been to school for the, I did take psychology in college, but. Everybody's just psychology. I right? can't, I can't do it. I can't. I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. Because I, I, I feel like I'm in harm because I want to know what you liable to do. I already know him, like you having a, you know, you having a psychotic break or issue. I don't think I could be of help. I would be too afraid for myself, yeah. what I'm trying to say. Oh, well. I'd be too afraid for me to help you. Oh, I can understand that. Mm -hmm. Now, I would watch you. You know, make sure, you know, even if I had to follow you in my in my vehicle. <laughs> I would watch you to make sure you know, you know. Yeah. Um ooh, but I can't I can't I can't do that. I can't sit there and talk to you. So I just couldn't. You know, I would be better off me, myself, and I. You know, um, somebody had a wreck in front of me, or had a heart attack, um, or something like that. I'm with you 100, you know, because I've been in the medical field. I know what to do. I'm not going to panic. I can help a person better out like that than I could a person, you know. And even though we didn't have classes to deal, to know how to deal with people that had mental issues, you know, you have to have empathy. You have to have a sympathy or, or basically empathy, and you have to be able to relate to a person and try to get on that level to try to, you know, give them medical assistance. But what I'm saying is... In a non-medical situation, I don't know if I'd be able to keep my cool to help you. You see what I'm saying? Because I would be afraid you're going to do something to me. Did you eat one of the potatoes that you said you were going to eat for them? I had a couple. Oh, okay. Come through. All right. Okay. But yeah, just look out for each other. Maybe we could work as a team. If somebody was having a psychotic issue and they like ran themselves into the wall where they were bleeding, I could take care of the medical while you take care of the mental. Remember they said, wow, how could they be out? <laughs> Hopefully I'll be out. Hopefully I'll be out so I'm not doing the rest. I'll wrap everything up. So I just know, I just know me. I, would, I wouldn't be good at that. I know for a fact I probably would do more harm than I would do, than I would help. Because I would be afraid myself. I really would. I would be afraid. Well, most of the time, like I had a cousin who was with my, and uh, she just switched up around the world, but she would sit there and talk to whoever it is right here. But you right here, she'd be talking right there. If somebody's right there, she'd be talking to whoever that is. Then when you interrupt them, she gets mad at you because she had a conversation. She she was like, whatever. But when she goes on her, whatever, the only thing she wanted really was somebody to listen to what she was saying. And and most of the time. Well, where that person went to? Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. She would, she would, I had to listen. She would talk to them. But I had to listen. But I don't know why I had to listen, but I did. My mom and them, you have to Cause listen. I'm going to the store. You want a beer? Mm. And when I'm going to buy them. When you finish what I said, it's like, okay, you done? Oh, oh okay. So, so what you're saying is you want some cigarettes? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm saying. Okay, cool. Well, I think, I think, as, I think if it was a family member, I probably could do a little better. Because, like I said, at that point, I still know their norm. You knew her norm. You knew what she needed. You knew how to handle it. I'm talking about a perfect stranger. Mm -hmm. some, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. A family member or a friend that I know their norm, I know, okay, this is what they're going to do, or this is what they used to do. It may be a little worse this time, or maybe not as worse this time, but you still have a baseline of knowing when you're in danger and when you're not. A person that you do not know, and they're just having a psychotic uh, issue, you don't know... Well, they're going to go from zero to a thousand in 10 minutes, five minutes, two minutes, and you don't even know when they add a thousand. But see, that, that right there, what we, what we based everything off, the beginning of the conversation wasn't to be to this. 
it's like, Tasha, right now, we're basing it on people with, with known mental issues and known mental problems. Right. That, you know what I'm saying? Right now, that's, that's what we're saying. We're out, we're out, but we should have been going back to like, to yeah, because this man had been it. working for that the yeah. airport Stable, 10 got years. Got a job 10 years, you got a family, 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 and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, you just sit back there and snap one day. Now, that's the difference. And sometimes, in those situations, hey, oh, you can't, hey, hey. And if this was the case. Maybe you need to look something up. Maybe, I don't know what to do. And if this was the case, you know, that something like this happened and his father, you know, did get shot or whatever, whatever. That's what I'm saying. If he was spiraling that way. There's somebody, no way that that wife did not know that. Frankly, somebody knew that. And There's no way that she did not know that. And I, I, I'm sure that somebody, somebody out there would have, I mean, should have, sit back there and, in my opinion, just rest out and just say, well, hey, dude, it, it, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, hey, hey, dude, dude. I called 911. Go out there and let them try to help you. Or anything. Because I truly believe that a, a, a person that is non-professional, that doesn't deal with these type of things, you have the potential to do more harm than you do good. It's true. Because what if that person's trigger is you saying, hey, dude, how you doing? True. You know what I mean? That, that's, that whatever you try to do could be the trigger. That's why I said if you know someone is struggling in this case, get help. Call 911. Make sure they get the help that they need as opposed to you trying to intervene. Because believe it or not, there's somebody in the world whose trigger is whistling. You whistling, that sends them into a psychotic break. You know, you don't know what that thing is. And that's just what I'm saying. I know for a fact that I wouldn't be able to be that person in that position because I, it would be constantly going through my head. I wouldn't be able to move. I wouldn't be able to talk because I don't know, you know, what if my way of going at trying to help them is the same way of whatever traumatic situation is that has made them be the way they are. True. All in all, y'all take care of your mental health. Take care. That's that basically it. Take now, care of your mental health. Take care of your mental health. health. Take care of yourself because, and it also comes down to it. If he would have, he he knew that he was going through. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? He knew the troubles that he had. He knew the things that was going through his head before he got to a point where he snapped and done some stuff just, just outrageously. He could have called the, the suicide hotline or anybody, which you know, what I'm saying it is in the box below. You know, what I'm saying? Yeah. But he could have called somebody and said, "Hey." uh yeah, this is what I'm thinking. Or, or if I don't speak with somebody, hey, I'm going to do this. Or, you know what I'm saying? Anything to sit back here and, and could have kept him out of the situation. Like, I'd rather sit back here and him, like, and say, hey, look, I'm thinking I'm going to steal this plane and this, that, and the other. If he would have talked to somebody, he would have called the police, the same police that came and got him out. Uh -huh. He would have called the police and said, hey, this is right here what I'm going to do. I might have gone for a night in jail. I might, he might, they might have sent me out, sent me to a council for your charge. You know what I'm saying? They would have got him the system that he needed if he would have just said, hey, yeah. This is what I need. Hey, bro, this is what I'm going to do. Right. The same way he called 911. He's going to call 911 before he got on that plane. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Like, look, bro, I'm going to find this plane right now. This is what I'm going to do. Blah, blah, blah. And he's going to be facing no federal charges. You're going to be out of the news. Even thing. if, when he called 911 in the beginning, they'll say what was going on. It would have been better for him if he had a, even if he, even if he, 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 he didn't come back to his senses until he got up there in the air. It would have been better to say, okay, I had a mental lapse. I thought I wanted to harm myself. Come give me a strength. Um, I'm going to land mm -hmm. this joint. He'd have been in a better off situation there because then they could have dealt with the mental part of it. He probably still would have been charged for sitting in the plane. But it would have been a lot better there for him to fly that plane around because he really didn't submit the plane um, really? voluntarily. He drove for hours. He, he would run he out of fuel. He so he had to either land... Or it was gonna land for him, so it ain't like he violent. Like if he had even done it two hours in, you know what I mean? Right. Even if he had done it where he was, because he was forced to bring it down because he was out of fear. He was gonna he was gonna crash if he didn't bring it down, regardless. So they're not gonna look at that as that he voluntarily landed the plane because he had no choice. You see what I'm saying? He had he had no choice. And then they talked him down and gave him a way out, or or at least. It would have looked better if, if when they did talk him down, if he had landed it the first time instead of keep going. Did he leave state line? Did he go? Uh -uh, he never left out of Mississippi. Okay, cool. That's another job. But, if, but <laughs> it's still. I'm, 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 like, I'm just saying. But it's still I'm, federal. I, I'm sure it is. But I'm like, well, if, you say, if he would have actually left, that's a whole other job. You know what I'm saying? If he would have flew with you another mm -hmm. one. He just made circles. That, that, that machine is crazy about how everything stacked up because you just had one thing, one thing went wrong in your life and then bam, 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 bam. Get stacked up again. They'll probably never see the light of day again. They probably won't. Even though it is a mental case, 
He'll probably never see that because I, I mean, I don't think our country is going to be like that. I'm sure you get about like because what it is, if if he's there and he's getting the help or whatever he needs, if he if he's on his medication or he's been actually seen and treated for the situation, then it might not ever happen again. I would say yeah, give him about the, about five seven years ish, maybe. But but that's with when when you get out, you still have to go to counseling along with the counseling that you do that you receive inside. I'm just saying, I don't think he should be like a... But person. however would they be able to ensure that he never does have access to a plane again? You on probation? Probation ain't gonna keep him from getting it. If he decided to get into it again and do it again, they ain't gonna keep him from... That's why I say I don't think that they'll ever let it back out because... I mean, you know, see, mm. he's he doesn't have to have a plane. He can just walk into Walmart and shoot everybody. Well, that's true. You know that, but that's why I'm saying he just want to hurt somebody. But if he's actually getting the help that he needs, they definitely try to help him. That's what I'm saying. If you're on probation, probation, if your probation officer gonna sit back there and see that your counselors that you guys should go to your counseling sessions, they're gonna see you every week or every two weeks. However, where you do it, they'll make sure that you have, yeah, they'll make sure you have all your chips and balances that put you on a straight. They they help you whatever with. No, if you're going, if you're going for the right things and for what it's set up to, to be, be working program the right way, you work the program the right way. If the program actually works with him the right way, because some people sometimes you sit there you get lost. I ain't gonna lie, no lies to it. But if you actually work the program the right way, that's a lot of help. You know what I'm saying? That's some help. That's why I don't believe that he should be locked up. For, I don't not not for, not forever, not forever, not forever. not not for. Not I don't for. think so either. I'm just saying, other than having a monitoring tag on on, on him, I don't know. But uh, them some pretty big skills to try to counteract being able to fly a plane. <laughs> I mean, it is. I mean, okay. think about it. Okay, wait. So what if he just get in the boat? You don't like to have no skills? No, but I'm getting the boat. Two pounds of what's called like, But I'm just saying, think about it. But I'm just saying a real talk. You know, I, the same way you can get in the plane, I can get in the boat, drive down and shoot people on the river. You know what I'm saying? The logic will be on me. Yeah. I'm just saying with my own head. Right. I wouldn't ever want him to be able to board a plane and fly in the way up in the morning. I'd be scared he'd have a break and try to hijack that plane. You know what I'm saying? What so, I'm saying? so hold on, you say that's regardless of whether he gets help or not. No, I'm not saying I understand him getting help. I get that part. I believe in getting help. I believe that completely. But you, but you say I'm saying as far as if it was me that was the person that had to get us if I was the judge. Right. I would have to have you he had to have a monitoring like a, a monitoring device on him or something. I don't know what I would do, but I'm just saying, in order to protect society, what really would they do? Even if he does get after the help. He, after he gets locked up, I'm telling you, the thing's going to happen. When he gets locked up, by the time he gets out, he's going to either have had counseling or been through a counseling session. Or, or when he gets out to go through his probation, he's going to have to be able to see his counsel on his probation. And then he probably will be monitoring an ankle for a while. But it depends everything. He wouldn't even be released unless, he's in the, unless they find him mentally fit. Or if he doesn't go, that, that, they, there are uh, psychiatric hospitals where he can't get locked up in until he's actually mentally sound enough to sit back and get out. But that's what I'm saying, though. This was a mentally sound person that had a psychotic break. And that, what I'm saying is that the potential, think about the potential of what could have happened. What I'm saying is that even after the therapy, even after the help, even after all of that, just say, for instance, the federal government say, okay, well, nine years from now, we're going to let you go. We going we believe that you're in the right place. We believe that you're gonna do right. Go home to your family, blah 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 blah. And they do that, and then the the man go get in the plane. They actually do crash in Walmart, and it kills a thousand people. Right? How is the United States government going to be able to? I mean, what are they gonna say? Do you, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if the United States government would take that chance because of the terroristic threat. You see, that's the thing that's compounding to me. Get him help. Yes, I get that. But the threat of running that plane into Walmart, that's the reason why I said I don't think he'll ever see the light of that again. Okay. I'm not, think about how many terrorists that we done caught I, that we let go. That, how many of them went terrorists that we caught and let go? See, it, it, it's, that's, you know, the system is what it is. The system isn't perfect. It's not perfect. All we got to do is to say, okay, this whatever, and get this actual man some help one day so he can actually get out and live his life one day. No, I'm like, this and other, yeah, you hurt, you hurt, you didn't hurt nobody. He didn't do anything. He sit back there and made a mistake, a big mistake, true enough, but he should be punished the rest of his life, not by you, me, or anybody in society, for him making one mistake. Not y'all tell me what y'all think, think about it. This because it. I understand her beside that he shouldn't be, but I honestly believe that he will be. 
I mean, when it comes down to terroristic threats, I do not, I just don't believe they will let him back out into society knowing that he has a capability of doing such things because if they do, then that makes them liable for every life that he would pot potentially you know, harm or take in the future. I just don't see him ever seeing it like that, in, in my opinion. Y'all okay. tell me what y'all think in the comments, and we're going to see. Um, mm -hmm. And, of course, we'll know what happened because this was big news, baby. It was all over the world, all over <laughs> CNN and everything. Yeah, stay up there for a while. So anyway, we'll know what's going to go on, y'all. We'll see. We love y'all. This be your name, Long. Uh-huh. We love y'all. See y'all later. Oh, I got... Hey! We love you guys so much. Okay. You do. <laughs> we hope you guys have been joining. We really, really do. Like, okay. So I'm a new Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you because you didn't have to be here. You could have chosen to be us in the world, but you chose to be right here with us, and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not just in Lee Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. We love you guys so, so much. And we're going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's, there's always, always more than one way home. home. All you should have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Whew. All I'm gonna say is, y'all, my heart goes out to, and I'm definitely gonna be praying for the Patterson family and um, everybody that was involved, everybody that was afraid, everybody that you know. I because we do need to slow that shut down in the day. Oh, I ain't saying Walmart. I'm just saying in general, Walmart, whatever. When they sit them folks out, man, I get paid for this. That one day that somebody, somebody who needs that job didn't get paid for this. Man, running around here acting a fool. I'm sure they'll get paid for it. Okay, watch. I'm sure they will. But I ain't can I ain't can about Walmart. I bet what they lost, I guarantee you they filed on insurance. Uh huh. I ain't so, worried about Walmart itself. I'm talking about people. But a lot of people got it. There. I'll just decide that y'all, Mr. I forgot what his name was, something Pat, Mr. Pass and his family. My heart does go out to his family, his children, his wife, and everything. And, um, you know, and I hope he does get the help that he needs. I do, uh, for the sake of himself and his family. I do, yeah. uh, but that's not anything to be taken lightly. Mental health is serious, you all. It really, really is. And if you feel if you're having certain feelings, certain desires, certain thoughts that's going through your head, get help before you go too far. Because I think in this particular case, um, he just went too far. You know, if he had to try to uh, seek the help before he did this, it would have been a lot better for him and his family. Yeah. Uh, because there's going to be a lot of um, help that is needed. There's going to be a lot of things. Because his children, think about it. His children going to have to live life in infamy with their father done this. This lady that's married to him, you know what I mean? They got to live through life with that. Uh, and I'm just saying that to say, Y'all pray for the family. Pray for the family because that's what we're going to be doing. But I did, uh, it was something that was current. It was something that I woke up to this morning. And we're going to continue to do our research on it. And yeah. uh, I guess keep updates. If y'all see something, let us know. If y'all hear something, let us know. So throw us a link. Throw, let, let, let us sit back. We may be in our with you. Love y'all. Bye bye. Mwah.